Welcome back to Grey Squadron Gaming. We have another exciting episode in our Star Wars Shatterpoint series. Episode 6. 7. We just talked about this. 7. Like, I think I've done this like, every episode lately. Yeah. <laughs> we have Don Rockin' Maul. His first time on the channel finally. Kraken. Or, yeah, right? Kraken. Kraken. Yeah. Because for some reason you just didn't want to run Kraken last time. That's true. Some B2s. And then over here underneath this little bridge, which I'll come over there and show you guys. We got all the new stuff. We got lots of new stuff. This is a... Uh, Don just got finished peeing up his Savage mother and some night sisters. They yeah, of look course, awesome. they can't look normal. No, they gotta be purplefied. That's that's Don's yep. whole thing. On my side, we have Mace, and that's not the file of first. <laughs> and Rex, not to confuse you guys, that's Pawns and the Arf Troopers. I just felt like it looked better than Prime Troopers. They put, um, yeah, you got Mace done, but he hasn't gotten his troopers. Yeah, Mace looks good. I'll show you guys some close-ups of Mace. Uh, but the other ones are work in progress. Sorry. And then I got I bring Luminar back for the second time on the channel and the Commandos. But we got Ahsoka instead of Barris because I've only had the panel on Ahsoka once on the channel. Let's move him. And there's Mace. Mace boy getting ready to. Go to war, but yeah, so we're gonna have fun here. But don't forget, comment below. Right now, the giveaway going on is the appetite for destruction pack, the general grievous pack. As you know, he's an asthmatic guy, he's great. So, if you want this, oh, Mace, Mace is the one who made him like that, too. Mm -hmm. if you I'm want, glad I didn't bring him. He's one of the, the coolest looking minis in the game, he's in my opinion. He's definitely one of the best, he's very menacing presence on the board. Sure. So, yeah, if you like that, comment below. We also have, if you're interested in, um. So if you're interested in Legion and you watch our channel, because I know a lot of you guys come from our Legion videos mainly, we also have, right now we're going on, is another giveaway. This one's a little different than our normal giveaways. This one's only available to either Patreons. It's the Star Wars Legion Strike Me Down Convention Exclusives going on for a few more, oh, about five more weeks still. This is the 2023 one. If you're interested in this, you either have to be a Patreon of any tier or donate to the tip chart increments of $3. Every $3 you donate is an entry. Patreon, the lowest tier is one entry, medium tier two, uh, three entries, and highest tier six entries. And it's going on for two months total. So if you're a Patreon, you'll get double those entries, of course. And if you want to do the tip chart donation, I know some people don't like Patreon, which is fine. Um, every $3 is an entry. So if you donate, let's say $9, you would get three entries. You don't have to donate $3 three times. But if you do, that's fine too. So check that out. Otherwise, the free entry for every single person and both of these are available worldwide. We don't really do a lot of restrictions. I think we were, had one giveaway ever that was restricted to US only, and that was just because it was the, the, the sponsor who couldn't yeah. send overseas. Mm -hmm. So everything else is available everywhere. Check them out. Comment below to get entered in or donate to enter the other one. A couple other things to touch on real quick. Uh, this mat right here, this awesome mat you see us play on, is from Skirmish Mats. There is a link below to get a nice 10% off all your Skirmish Mats needs. And they, they are have, super nice mats. They are super nice. They have a, they're actually like a really thick mouse pad compared to some of the other ones. They're really nice. Check them out. They have a couple other options, too. I'll, I'll get some more from them and show you off some of the other you intros, too. accidentally met those guys in an elevator at Gen Con after they sponsored us, which was hysterical. We did. Um, I finally got the tower done. I know I'm, like, very, very slow on these buildings, so I apologize. It's work, life, filming two to three videos a week. You know, That's not, you got to cut we somewhere. We don't do anything like we that. We got most of the gantries done. We've got too many buildings done. Everything's primed. I'm going to get the rest done hopefully in a few weeks, but don't hold me to that because me and Don both have vacation coming up. That's why we're filming a few weeks ahead of time because we're going to be... Mm -hmm. On opposite ends of the country. You're going, you're yeah. going to Cali, I'm going to Florida. I'm, I'm Disney World, you're, or Disneyland, you're Disney World. Yeah, funny enough, both our families, guys. I'm going to Disney World, he's going to Disneyland. Kind of funny. Yep. Um, but yeah, so let's 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 jump in. Oh, let's show you first. I want to show you guys some cool J-squared stuff that just came out. These are some more limited edition holders from J-squared. If you can't tell, they're themed from the Ahsoka show. We have the Ahsoka holder, which is this new Ahsoka logo with the Rebel backdrop on a pearl white kind of base. It's a really nice base for Ahsoka. Looks great. And then we have this one, which is really cool. This is a unique one, and I'll show you the base is why it's unique. This is Sabine, of course, with her symbol. This is color shifting, and it's really hard. Oh, you actually can get it from yeah, this angle pretty good. It looks much better over here it now. It shifts to multiple colors, depending which way you're looking at it. So this is exclusive for Sabine. Really cool. Um, we make this for, as you see, Shatterpoint. Shatterpoint curled paw holders. We make it for Star Wars Legion. Star Wars Legion curled paw holders as well. And if you wanted a template holder in any of the um, options, you can always message us. We can try to work with you on that on J Squared. But this is J Squared. They also have links below for all their um, discounts they offer as well, 10% off. If you forgot, it holds two sets of dice. As you can see, I have two, two different rows of dice. This is a custom one I had made. Hold, this is a curled paw one. The SharePoint one's almost the same exact thing. It's just slightly smaller because the cardboards are a little less thick. This is a custom um, template holder I had made. If you don't know J Squared guys, they have magnets on the top and bottom, which makes it really nice to flip. This is an Ahsoka custom I had made. With that, I want to give a big shout out to the one of the reasons we can do these episodes so frequently for you, so many episodes, keeping never missing a Sunday release since we've started, which is amazing. That is quite It's thanks impressive. to our Patreons, specifically the Commander Patreons. Huge thanks to our Patreons, Dan Dubeck, Jamal Awahadi, Mitchum Ernst, Alex Bingham, Michael Klein, Caleb Rogers, Anthony Minerva, Steve Seed, Paul Jorgensen, Jess David, Archon Dan, 
Howard Robeson, Michael Hume, Jason Tatro, Evan Christensen, Kevin, Kazran, Thomas Trotman, James Wood, Sam Page, Andre Moskop, Kev Powell, Gregory Williams, Eli Arthur and Walden Kaywood, Cam Nickel, Anthony Bunomo, Chris Kemp, Flobit, Yan Alexander Hansen, Anthony Hosking, Ethan McKinney, Jabra75, and Jacob Bleacher. Yes, thank you to all you guys. You guys are awesome. You're the reasons we can keep doing these episodes and we can keep pumping out this content for you. With that said, we rolled dice. I got priority. I put my people down. He put his people down, obviously, early. after that. After both of those, we flipped our card. We're playing tonight. Steal the secret plans. We flipped the plus sign. This one's kind of right under because it's not, it's not technically... I guess I could have raised it. We'll take a look. Uh, but it's right there. I'm going to go first. You should. Let's get shaken. We uh, did fix the center. Whoop, it's up there now. Mm -hmm. Going to my cards. Flipping the Whoop. first. Ooh, some Republic Commandos. I don't think that's a bad pick necessarily, guys. I don't think it's a bad pick. Sure. Uh, the issue is you got a lot of things that can like get to them really quickly if I run You don't have to worry about it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend a force. And then we're going to go with a defensive maneuver. So let's sure. dash and gain a hunker token. Always good to have. So he'll dash up to there. This one I think I'm actually going to bring back. Oh, spicy. He'll end right there. Let's sure. come up with an A range one of up there because we have a nice ladder. We have ladders all over the field as usual. Mm -hmm. So he's going to come up as far as he can to help with his covering fire. Okay. Or courting fire, excuse me. And then um, second action is after they get the hunter will be a movement. He's just going to move to the very edge here. Sure. This guy's going to move a lot more. We're going to come to this. Okay. And, and I think I think what we're going to do actually we're going to come right here is we're going to actually just stay there. Okay. I think if I go up there, I'm dead. Sure, sure. I have some ways to chill right now. So I think we're going to stay there for now. That's logical. So they're going to have a hunger token. Remember, it usually goes on the card, but... For you guys, I keep them near the unit. They still only have one. This is just for visual. Correct. And we go down. You uh, you still have an additional action to do. Well, that's right. I do, don't I? Mm-hmm. You can always take cover. I think we're going to take cover and just hunker again because... That makes sense. Now they actually have two each. Two hunker tokens on those commandos. Going to dawn, stack right, of cards. My first action is going to be cracking. It's a good first turn. Yeah, so he has do not let them escape. At the start of his activation, he can choose himself or a battle droid supporting unit. The Each character in that unit can dash. I'm going to go with these B2s, and we are going to have them do that dash. So we'll dash in here. We'll dash. We'll split them up and live dangerously for now. We'll do the dash on them, and then um, what we're going to do... Is that? I don't know if I can get up there in a dash. You cannot. And, and stand up. You need a full advance to make it up that weird little thing. Yeah, that's, that's going to slide us there. So, I think what he's going to do is he's just going to do a move himself, and he's going to end up right up here. Within one of the ingress? Because that's how that works. Yeah, he's going to move here, ingress up, yep. and then we'll, we'll pop over here. Make it so I can't get pushed off easily. And then he'll take cover. And taking cover. Are you going to use any movement with that take cover, or are you good where you're at? No, I'm, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, so he's going to stay right there. Okay, good. And this is uh, the first round, but turn player two, if you look, because I didn't explain it the first time. Um, I, did, I have these two, but I didn't score because I was the very first player of the game. Mm -hmm. Scoring will happen now. He's got one, so he will then get one, right? Actually, I'm going to take my take cover back. I'm going to uh, spend a force to tactical network and have this be two... Move up here, just so that he starts contesting this for next time. Okay, so he, it's one-to-one, -one, which still I still keep it, but right. now he's an easier chance of grabbing it, is what he's saying. And you're and not in range of the other ones, right? No. So you're going to get this one point here. Yep. So he'll move the cube over one yep. to his side. Well, I gave you red, and you didn't want purple? I'm so surprised. Oh, I should spin that around. If you want to spin it around. We're uh, spinning it around. We understand. I mean, he literally did all his night sisters purple, because Don's favorite color is purple. His favorite thing is the, uh, he has a shirt that says um, purple nurple on it because he just loves <laughs> the purple. I think okay. I need that shirt now, actually. What am I saying? We would like pawns. Pawns would be a nice start. Or Soka. Nope. Arfs. Arfs are good. Arf Remember, my 501st squad over here. Yes, Rex and the 501st are actually pawns and the Arf troopers because they're painted up and they just look a little nicer. Yep. So I'm proxy. Okay, so they're going to first thing they spend a force. 
to go ahead and do defensive maneuvers because that's what clones do. Action. So he's down two force already of his seven. That's fine. We've got Mace who can regen that force pretty good. I like that. So he'll do his dash that way. We're going to split the clones again. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's crazy talk, isn't it? Yeah. I can cover more ground this way. That's very true. And we'll move him over here. And they're going to get a hunker token for that. Yep. And then my first actual action will be to advance. Advance and This on. one's going to advance. And he has plenty of room, so he'll advance to this ladder. Sure. And these ladders are touching on both sides, so they can go all the way up or stop at the middle. It's your choice. He's going to ride that all the way to the top, ending within a one of it. I want to make sure I'm not within an easy push off the point distance. So we're going to come up to about there. Sure. So at least one push won't get him off. That's and then, true. Um, He's going to advance over here because they get the same action, of course. Yeah, yeah. And if you notice, there happens to be a ladder here as well. How about that? So he'll end here, and he'll go up a ladder now because that's the name of the game, scoring. So we're going to come as far over as we can. Actually, we might do the same thing. We don't want to get pushed off. Uh, you can push back either way. So we'll come there. Probably, yep. Yeah. So we'll just come there. That's a little too far, but perfect. There we go. All right. Okay, and then their second action I think we're going to do is we're going to attack, and only one can see something. So we're going to go ahead and shoot with the ARF Troopers. Sure. I would like to um, expose these B... No, I'm, I can't do that. Coordinate. No. So we're just going to shoot them. Just shooting the B... Just uh, shooting them. Shooting the B with Q's? All and right. before the attack, um, with commanders are within five, so they're going to coordinate fire damage. So right off the bat, they have boom, the B2s are taking a damage. Sure. And then we're going to go ahead and roll our dice. Seven attack dice. That was our tree he showed. Sure. I've got... Uh, Four for my melee defense. I do have a hunker token, so that brings it up to five. You meant ranged, but yeah. Or ranged defense, yes. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. That's a lot of expertise. What's my expertise chart? These guys have it. Expertise on that is... Three is a crit and a hit. Crit and that's hit. not it's terrible. Not no, it's not bad. Much better than the five first for the yeah. same cost. That's a pretty solid roll. So this one will go away. Yeah, I'm, not too sure. I'm not too bad about it. Oh! Yeah, yeah. That's um, That's a good start to my defensive rolling today. Okay. So uh, I I'm do gonna... have protection, so the first damage will go away. Okay, that's 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 fine. So we're going to... Um... It's oh. just your whole tree. Yeah, I just, do I want the... I think I want the top. It does a lot more. So we'll do one in a pin, one in a push, one in an expose, and two. So you're going to take two, three, four, down to three. So we'll take three plus damage from the coordinated fire, a pin, a push, and a, and a um, pin. No, you, don't you get all this? So it's one, two, three, four, five... Down to four You're right, plus one. Five, so five. I have five total damage onto my B2s to start the game. I'm going to push him a tiny bit. He gained a pin and exposed, took all his damage. He has how many damage did you take total there? Five. Five. After the courting fire as well. I'm going to take one, two, three, and four points here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and four. It's a pretty healthy uh Yeah, that's a good, good scoring. start for you, sir. All right, going to go to the stack here. It's going to be our night sister acolytes. They are going to start off by spending one force to do their acrobatic advance, which means uh, each character in this unit gets to jump if there are... I uh, can't wait till you move them outside of that, because this is a hard angle. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, that, that does jump like this, does gain a uh, hunker. Ooh. So we will have this guy jump up here. What up, bow girl? Um, and we will have this one center over here. Okay, okay, jumping, jumping. Um, you have to come back a little bit, yeah. yeah. Go, something like that. Yep, yep. And then uh, next is going to be a move. So we will use uh, the ability. Come a little closer here. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we can do... You can go there. Yeah. You got that. So we'll go there. Yep. Uh, she will do... Oh, she's... Ooh, she can. Well, yeah. She can move here. Yep. And then we'll use the egress. Because you can come down for free and yep. there's a ladder. And then we can go up here. Okay, so so Enjoying far you're, you there. you're contesting, but you don't own contesting, it. Contesting, and then we'll take cover as our second action. Will that get him close myself. enough? Oh, yeah. Within range, no problem. I'm building suspense when you measure, sir. So you get to lose this because you don't have Obi-Wan. And I, I had, I would have two take cover, or two cover tokens, or hunker tokens as well. But they are gone because we are now engaged. But I do have two to his one here. I hope you guys love us because... It's very hard when you're building lists to show you guys every units not to bring Obi Wan auto include in the Republic. Mm -hmm. It just makes them so much better. Yeah. But, so yeah, so my Arf Trooper, not five first, loses his yep. hunger, and you take that point back. So you're gonna score two. I got two, which will keep it on your side, keep which it means on there. momentum nice cube. Yay, momentum. Now if I can just get Mace and go up there and kill some Knights, that'd be great. After way too much thinking, guys, I got the Shadow Point card, but I was like, ah, Mace and Luminar can't get there. They don't have any way to get up and impact. So I'm gonna spend the Force now. To put this back in my deck. Sure, sure. 
I'm going to pull the next one. It's going to be Ahsoka, Ahsoka, which is a little bit better of a card. For this, so I don't have to waste the shower point on her. What are you racing it with? So yeah, at the start of the unit's order, choose an allied Galactic Republic primary unit, and it may dash. So we're going to have Mace Windu. Makes sense. Kind of like him up there doing things with his purple lightsaber. Joe's even supporting the purple team today. <laughs> By the look of the margins. <laughs> so he'll dash. Sometimes all it takes is a lightsaber. Yep. And then we're going to go ahead and do a move action with her. Sure. Because that's what she does. I'm trying to think which way she... Because she can't, she can't get up here now. Yeah, we, it's we've clogged. got that clogged it's up clogged there. up right now. It's just unfortunate, but it's, mm -hmm. it is what's happening. So let's have her move. Sure. So she'll just advance over those little crates because they're not taller than her. She'll end okay. up right there. That's her first action. Her second action is going to be to not do much, really. I like that. That's good for me. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to take cover. And I'm going to actually go back the other way. No, I'm going to take cover. We'll push her this way. Okay. And she's doing this because she has an ability that doesn't matter for galactic supporting units. She can, if they get after an attack, she can jump up and do some stuff. So we'll just put her there and have her within three of both. Sounds good. Okay, so she didn't really change much there. Right. So we got one, two, three for Joe. One, two, three. Alrighty. All right, so I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna get Savage, and Savage at this point is not very good to go with because he can't get me a point at this point. So we're gonna spend a force to put him in reserves, and we are going to get RB2s. RB2s I am, I'm happy with going with here. Uh, they're gonna lose their hunker that they got from Kraken. They are pinned and exposed. Pinned and exposed, which is fine. Um, fortunately, this is gonna be a lot of force, but we'll spend a force um, to uh, Relentless Advance, um, that will pull this off guy we will have not, oh no, it's just a dash. I can't climb on a dash. So we'll have this guy not move. We'll have this guy dash and... So when he says not move, he means yeah. this one will go first, pull the pin off, and yeah. then this one's free to move now. So he will dash over here. Okay. And then for the second, we're going to do an, uh, a movement is our first action. So the purple guy will climb. Okay. So he will end up something like that. And then this guy, we'll just do an advance and end up right there. Okay. And then for their act, their second action, we're going to shoot somebody. I'm going to look and see who's the best target of opportunity. He's shooting the Arf Troopers. He's got six dice there. Arf Troopers get four dice in defense. They are currently engaged. They lost their hunger tokens. No defense for them. All right. Six dice. Uh, we're still rolling some blanks. Two is going to just turn into two straight damage. Two straight damage. Yep. I get, I'm about to roll a attack dice. That wouldn't help, would it? So I got four defense dice here. We're going to roll two blocks. Doesn't matter. What's my expertise on this guy? Expertise is another block there, but I can't cancel the crit. So, yep. so you need to go crit, down the tree once. Which is just a damage and a push. One damage and a push. And I'll let him do that. But um, after that, before his, uh, Ahsoka gets to do something too. So with the first push, we're going to drop you down here. Right there. Mm -hmm. Which actually might not have been the smartest thing. I'm actually not going to push you because you're currently preventing other things from attacking my Night Sisters. So we'll, we'll leave you there. Okay. And then we'll just shoot you again. All right, so same thing again here. Six dice. Man, still a couple of failures. So it's just going to be two crits and two damage. Well, that's two. So it's going to be... It's enough to knock them down. Yeah, three total damage and then a push. Because of the crits, I can't even bother rolling. We are not going to push anything. So they'll become wounded, so. and then Luminar gets the ability that kicks in. I'm going to double check what it does. She uh, lets uh, another character after something's wounded. She lets another character kill three. No one else has damage yet. Correct. Don likes to one-shot so everything with... We did turn. flip that over then. Um, so I have one, two, three now. I gain an extra momentum cube for wounding them, and we go one, two, three. Stays on Joe's side. Which gives me another momentum cube. Okay, perfect. Go to my stack. Mace, unfortunately, if you look at the battlefield, he's blocked any way to step up there. And if I go up there, Mace has no way to make himself move. He moves other people yeah. besides a normal advance, which is very unfortunate. So I think we're going to spend one. All righty. Put Mace down in reserves. Down to three force. I'm only down to two, so I can't really talk. But it's okay. Mace brings back when he comes back. We're going to flip. 
We've got Chair Point. Sure. Luminar, unfortunately, too. Same problem. She can sprint and then advance, but same thing. She can't get up there. And if you notice, no Galactic Republic Jedi's. None of them. None of them have a range attack. Unfortunately, they all. You have... don't need a range attack when you have a Just... lightsaber. Yeah, so I think we're actually going to use it on Ahsoka. Sure. We're going to go with her again. At the start of her turn, she gets to have a Galactic Primary Unit um, advance. And so we're going to keep this train going with Mr. Mace Windu. Moving on up. Getting him more um, to where he needs to be to be able to impact things. He will become more impactful up there, that is true. So we're going to move him there. He's a little closer now. We're helping move him move since he can't okay. move himself. Okay. Ahsoka then um, will spend a force to jump. That might be an excessive force expenditure. So I guess I could just climb. You could just climb. So unless you planned on focusing and attacking me, which you have to do three damage to the B2s, probably not worth it. You know, I think I'm still going to do it, actually. Oh, okay, sure. Because I can hunker... Or, no, hunker will lose. We don't have Obi-Wan. Nope, no, I'm going to climb. You're right. If we had Obi-Wan, I probably would actually hunker and then move in Okay. for defensive purposes. Yep. But since we don't, we're going to climb, not spend the force. We'll save the force. We lose our hunker token, of course, because of yep. turn of activation. And I'm engaged. Yep. It's like an actual B2 going to swing into the B2 so we can take him off the board. Let's Before see. we do the attack, the coordinate fire from the commandos are going to kick in. They're going to take an auto damage, so they're going to be down to two health left. Sure. She rolls seven in melee, and they are exposed, so they don't get any of their expertise no. tree. No expertise on defense so let's see if we can get a decent roll. A melee defense, a mighty three dice. Oh, you got you got a good roll. Eh, it's okay. There's three failures there. That's okay. It's, it's still going to be enough. And one expertise in her melee is two hits, though. That's pretty solid. So... We'll just make two hits, take away the other three dice, boom. All right, we've got three defense dice. We've rolled nothing. Because the expertise are blocking now. Uh, so I can get on the whole tree, which is interesting. Sure. Well, I got five. I shouldn't say the whole tree. But I think I want to push you away. So let's go to the top tree. One, two, three, four, five. So do a whole bunch of damage, give you so another six expose. Six total damage. And push you. And three pushes. Three, three pushes. Exposes. Okay, fortunately, I said I was attacking the purple. I should attack the blue. I could have pushed him off. Purple keeps bonking into blue, so purple stops there. But I did create a little spot, you know, here. Yep. After um, I wound an enemy, I get a momentum cube force, but then yep. Luminar lets me uh, take a dash with one character. So we're going to dash with Mace over there. Mace, which will come to here. And I'll pop up to here. Pop up, okay. Look how much he's moved without moving. That's true. And now we're going to get one, two, three. And we're going to come back one, two, three, getting closer. All righty. And then I also get a trigger when, uh, with Mother Talzin, once per turn when an enemy character wounds an allied unit, I can dash and make a five dice attack targeting the enemy character. I'm not going to be able to get to the five dice attack range, but Mother Talzin can start so moving in this direction. Ooh, spooky purple mess. So she will move there, and that will be the end of Joe's turn. Back to Don. All right, back to me. We are going to go ahead and flip over here. We're going to get Mother Talzin. Um, Savage has a fun, fantastic thing when a Separatist Alliant primary or a Dathomirian primary unit within three act, uh, begins its activation, I can dash. So Savage will dash. Oh. So he'll go... So it's probably one his, time he gets to do this, right? Working his way this way. Yeah, unfortunately. And then Mother Talithan's ability is Obscuring Shadows. At the start of this unit's activation, choose an allied Dathomirian unit, and that unit may dash. We're going to choose the same unit... We're gonna have Savage go over here and see if he can't play with this. Oh, I'm sure. That's, I'm sure that clone sometime. The you mean the wounded clone? Yeah, he's, he's already wounded. He's gonna be all right. Um, and then with our lovely mother Talzin, I think she. Give me two seconds to think. I didn't actually plan the rest of her turn. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move just into range four of Mace here. Mm -hmm. So we want to be just right there, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna shoot him. By shooting, you mean some kind of magic -y spell thing? Yes, this is magics. Is that what it's called? Magics. Just magics? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's magic him. All right, so I have a six dice range attack. Before this attack happens, my night sisters are within range to coordinate and fire and expose onto Mace. So he will not have his expertise defensively. Okay. Uh, so we will see what we can do here. Uh, we got one miss. We got one hit, which is just another hit. So it's going to be five hits. They're all six. We're going to hope for no extra no failures. That's a big ask, but that's what we're hoping for. Building up. Oh, this one's working. Blocking we're blocking two. two. So I don't think you can do 11 damage in three. I cannot. So that's we good. are going to... Let's go for the damage side, though. So we will do... No, we'll do the, we'll do the damage in the pin. Two damage in a heal is not going to do anything for me. Where's the pin? 
or disarm, I'm sorry, damage and disarm, two damage and a heal, and a free action, which is me moving mace off of that uh, position. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and use um, the manipulating hand, which is choose an enemy character within four, and that chosen character dashes. I resolve the move. So I'm going to take mace, and I'm going to make him dash down there. Okay. And then, unfortunately, there was no way for me to affect this. Like, if I attacked Ahsoka and did the same thing, I wouldn't get the point back. Because they're wounded. So I figured pushing mace, who has movement abilities uh, hindered a little bit, is, is the better choice. So that's that. I got one, two uh, to his. So I get two back to me. One, two, and another cube on my side. This is the most amount of cubes I've seen with only wounding one person so far. It's getting pretty tall. With Lunar's ability, I already looked at this card, so I knew what it was, deciding if I want to go with this or my reserved mace. Mace only has three damage. He's he's um exposed, but that's okay. Sure. Boom, we're going to go Pons. is going to tell Mace, you know what, buddy? You were just a little confused. You have some witch magic. Just just get, get right back up there. Sure. She's going to get right back up there. Okay. And then Pons is going to... Take a gander. Pons has a range five gun. Oh look, that worked out well. There's some night sisters there to shoot already. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, I'm going to try to, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do in a second. But I'm going to take a second to think on this one. Okay. Okay. So Pons is going to take a focus for his first action. Sure. We're going to shoot. We definitely have range in here. So does this co commando here as well. Okay. So he'll add the damage first off, bringing them from yeah, seven health down to six health damage. right away. Okay. And the pawn's going to take a focus attack action. Pawn's going to be saying six. I bumped it up to seven with the focus. That's my lovely tree. We're going to go attack the Night Sisters. Night Sisters. They took the damage from the Queen of Fire yep. before this. Five defense for their range. I'll take it. Yeah. One yep. expertise is two hits. Jesus. So, I mean, we'll just throw another dice in here just to show it better. But this becomes two. So we're just... You know, just going with nice, cool, just all of them. eight pack. It's eight. It's more dice than we rolled into the attack. All right. Can I have a defensive uh, dice roll that isn't all blank? Pretty much no. What is three expertise for them? Two expertise is. Oh, two expertise. Right? Yeah, it's just one. Just one. So just blocking two. So yeah, it's the whole tree. So you'll take away two of my hits, which is me one, two, three, four, five, six, which I think is way more than he can go. Yep. So one, two, three, four. It's perfect. That's two, four, five. Six, seven? Yep. So, that so we'll knock them out, and we'll also disarm them and push them off. Okay. Sharpshooter McGee Pond down there wow. shooting up at the Night Sisters. Shot her off. She fell down. They became wounded. So since both these units are wounded, the next closest thing within range is Mace. So he captured the point. Yep. Making him dash. Pond is a good call. That means I get one, two, three, four, plus the cube for wounding. Put mm -hmm. it on here. One, two, three, four. Means I get the first struggle victory. We'll reset yep. and go to struggle two. Great for me. So we've been double crossed in this formation, so he's got mm -hmm. this one, that's a double for the round. That one's active, and the one that the uh, commander's literally sitting on top of is, is active yep. now. He went to his stack, and he's going yep. to pull. He chose I, not to go Savage and I, go with Maul. I forgot to roll before I picked Maul, so we made a mistake. So we'll spend a force, because we need to, to force speed. He's so, so fast. Look at him go, guys. Here, and then we'll do another just normal move. That's one fast Maul. And Maul will end up there, and then we'll just take cover. Get a hunker. And get a hunker. He gets a point. So he'll so get, get one point. Control of that one. Nobody's controlling any. Oh, yeah. You're, this I'm controlling all checks the now, but it doesn't score you. So I get one towards me. I'm not controlling that because he's wounded. I lied. He gets one there. Let me go to me. All right. We're actually going to take Mace off the reserve and go with him. Sure. Mace's ability at the start of unit's activation. Another Galactic Republic unit. Each unit or each character in that unit may dash. We're going to go with Miss Luminara back here. She's way back there. She's going to dash just up to the stair, and then she'll come up at a... Lovely range one from the edge of that stair, which is oh, let's not put the lightsaber in the commando's head right there. And then Mace now, Mace. Oh, also, one of the cool things, let's talk about this. He's in the Jedi Master form. I'll put it for the camera to see. So it's called Tempered. Um, I know it's called Shatterpoint. Shatterpoint. When this chosen active with a Shatterpoint card, if the active stance is for no, no, with a Shatterpoint card, that only works when you activate it. Oh, with a Shatterpoint card. I misread that. Uh, you misread that. Yeah. That's right. Okay, I don't need the force, anyways. So we'll keep that in mind for next time. Sure. I was thinking they're all card that makes way more sense. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come on down still. He has sure. no way to move himself, which is interesting. Come on down to here. Okay. Oh, jeez. And don't not break, break lightsaber. my lightsaber because that would be unfortunate. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and attack Mother Talzin. And I'm going to contemplate if I want to switch forms or not. Okay. We need to switch forms here. Um, before the attack, we're going to spend a force, which I already did, to use my ARF troopers to apply and expose onto the mother. Okay. Kind of like what he did to me earlier. Sure. So I am rolling seven dice here. I have a six defense dice in melee, which is nice. Oh, that's a really good yeah, start. I'm, I'm, I'm and in trouble. And that's another crit for a success there for the 
So it's going to be four crits and three hits. Oh, good. My six defense dice may actually stop some hits. Nope. Yeah, I did. Nope. You stopped, stopped every hit. All the hits, I guess. You stopped everything you could. Yep. Which is good. So I got four here. So we're definitely going to go up the top. That's going to be two, five, six, seven. That's eight, nine. You'd have one left, wouldn't you? Well, you're doing math wrong if you're doing it that way. Because you go one, two, three, not three. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. But you have 10 health anyways, don't you? I have 10 health, yes. So that wouldn't have worked anyways. So I still think we go the top way. It's more damage. Two, three, two more. That's going to be a total of seven there. Eight total. Eight and a disarm? Eight and a disarm. Perfect. Right. I like it. Scoring, I have this one clearly. He's still wounded no one there. The double was on that one, and he's on it, but he hasn't scored now. I move one back to the middle. We each get a momentum cube. And Mother Lips just by the skin of her teeth. And we go back to him. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with Savage now because I rolled it as the back point. I have no way of getting that. Um, so he is just going to go ahead and do a uh, climb for his first action here. Let's make pink sure lightsaber? I did, did make it pink. Spiced him up a little I bit. I just noticed that for some reason. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to swing into the ARF trooper just to add some extra um, statuses just for fun. Okay, He's, ARF is wounded. So this is, yeah, literally yeah. just to try to give him more statuses. That's his card. He does have a pin and string in his arm in a row there. Yeah, that's I'm going to get good. four defense from this one. Alrighty. Or we can just roll real, real terrible here. That's not bad. What's two so expertise? Two expertise is a crit and a damage. Yeah, you know, the damage won't do anything, but you got a crit at least. So I can only cancel two here. Uh, one expertise, I believe, is just one. It, it is one, so I will cancel one. So you'll have three. So three down the tree so is going to just points. be an expose and a strain. Oh, you're going to pose, expose and a strain? He has two points right, now. So I took those two. So we should flip this. To and, no, that's me. Why do you have that one yellow then? Oh, I sh this should be yellow. Right. So we got to go down two here on my tree, and that's it. Okay, so he moves up two, and it's on his side now. Well, the last card is Luminara. Unfortunately, Luminara is still too far back. Um... I think I'm still going to spend one force to... I have two force left, so that makes a huge difference. But we'll spend one to sprints. All righty. Which we can come down. We just can't go up with the sprints. Sure. So we'll come down to... There. All righty. And then you'll see she'll be shy of where she would like to go, but she'll be closer. She'll advance to there. Okie dokie. And she can't get up there to attack Savage because right, one... Block, block the ladder. One, she's not in range on the ladder, so it doesn't matter if you didn't block right. it. And two, if she came up, there's nowhere on the ladder I could technically go at this moment. Mm -hmm. So I think what she'll do is she'll take cover. Sure. And she'll get herself just ever closer to the goal. Sure. So that way, um, you know, she's just... Just there, hanging out. Be able to do some sh stuff to you soon. <laughs> Unfortunately, right, so every time we do the double, it's on one that doesn't matter for us. Back there for this time, so, so I'll get just one. gets one more. Which gives me a momentum cube. Oh... You know when you play a character for the first time, you read things, you think you read it right? No, I keep saying he has no way to move himself. He does. It's at the start of the unit's activation. Choose another Galactic Purple unit. Each character in this unit and each character in the chosen unit may dash. It's actually much better than I thought. So that's my bad. Way better. Luckily, I didn't need him to dash necessarily yeah. to reach her. But anyways, we're going to him. All right, so I'm going to get the Shatter Point. Uh, I did roll it. It's the back point again, so there's literally nothing I have that can affect that point. So we're uh, not going to do anything No one's there. got a double point yet. Yeah, so we're going to go with, with Kraken just to get him in a better spot for me to start doing some stuff. And Legion's um, name's not Kraken. It's Krakalakin. Do not uh, do not let them escape. I'm going to choose the the dash myself because... Um, I thought of, I thought of a, a keyword for a double point. Double entry stone. Yeah. She has magic as her thing, right? Oh, it's so magical. So I'm assuming magic comes out of her hands, you think? Maybe. So she has spirit fingers? Spirit fingers. So I'm, I'm going spirit fingers for the, the keyword, guys. All spirit right. fingers, magic, magical spirit fingers, something along that lines. Make something creative, I'll give you even three points. <laughs> um, Make me laugh, as usually so what I, I want. I am going to change my mind. I'm going to have, I'm gonna have the B2s dash oh. here, so they're going to start moving this direction. I'm just walking right through um, something. He can't go full. And then I can go off. You could go off, yes. Yeah, so we'll I'm so sorry. You can't pop them right there for fun. Um, and then <laughs> this clone's like, oh my god! And then with uh, with Kraken, we'll just do an advance to here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then um, can you see Luminara to shoot her? I'm actually, an advance done. I'm not going to shoot her anymore. Oh, and then uh, I'm just going to use the uh, the ladder here to put him down there. And then we're going to take a hunker for his. He's just hiding. Okay. Action. So he's so going to hide there. two points. I want I want Maul to be able to go away from this point eventually if he needs to. I mean, I know Mace is back here, so okay. he might not. But okay. Two I want points. him to have some option, options. So yes. Two points on my side, one, two. It's going deeper. That's it. 
the first pull was the share point, which, you know, after rereading the ace of the building, and we know that that's what you want for him. But where he's at the board, yes. he can't get to the double this point. This is the double the point, one. which actually matters now. Luminara happens to be just right there. So I think we're going to have to go with her with this. I think it's a better play. We're going to spend a force to do a free. She does advance. lose that hunker token. She does. It's okay. She's going in to be engaged in yep. a second, so she really doesn't care about that thing. Um, she's going to do a free sprint, which is her advance. Yep. So we're going to advance her closer to the building. That's her f free action. And then we're going to jump her up with a climb. Sure. As best she can. So we're right there. Okay, she'll climb up for her first action. Second action will be to swing away into Savage. We're, gonna, we're hoping for three successes, which is double push because he said bats. We'll just be push him off the point. That's true. We're going to keep her in this form because she gets seven as you look. That so she has one, two, and it's only three in. So that's a good way to go to that. And we've got this lovely attack tree here. And we're going to get Savage, sure. who is Savage meant to be a big brute with health. And, you know, he's not super persuaded in the lovely arts of the Jedi sure. Sith. So let's go ahead. One failure, one expertise is a crit and a hit. Two failures. You're right, two failures. But luckily, this becomes two, so it helps make up for that a little bit. So we get a crit and a hit out of that. Sure. So we got two crits, so you have to roll perfect dice to stop the double push. I do have to roll good dice here. I have not been. No. And I continue to not. You okay. stop You stop one, and that gives me five successes here. So let's see, five successes here. We're going to go definitely the repo we're going to start there because we have to, right? Yep. And we need two pushes. We can go to the bottom route, though. Yes, you can. One, two, three, four, five. I think that makes the most sense. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with two shoves and a reposition in there. I do have protection and steadfast, so it's going to be seven damage total, and one of the shoves doesn't shove me. But uh, that will. Do I that. took this point, and I have this point, and that's a double, so that brings me up to three, which puts me in the middle, which gives us both a cube. Yay, cubes. And it goes back to him. All right. All right, so we got to shuffle. We're going to get the B2s. They can do. Uh, I did roll. It's the middle again for double points. Uh, B2s can have no effect on the middle, so we're going to spend one force to put them in reserves. We're going to flip over Maul. That's good for me. He's um, over here. I'm going to go ahead, and he's going to lose his hunker token. Uh, I'm going to move just a hair up. Um, With an action, or? I'm fighting that, actually. Uh, force ability. Take a plank damage for a free force. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna take a damage to do our force speed, just to move up to you about here. Okay. Um, we're going to take another two damage to pull Luminara down to... To me. Okay. And we want her not into, but within two. So we'll put her right there, and then um, I will... Uh, so she gets an expose from that, and then I will swing into her with some extra dice. Because I have three damage on me now. All right, so we went ahead and we re realized that pull has to go all the way, same with push, so he pulled her just a little bit more, which was complete the full pull. And now we're going to go get swinged in the face by a ball. Hey, he's going on this side. He's got six dice. He's got a couple of pushes and heals on this side to deal with. I'm in this form. He did um, expose me with that pull, so I don't have my tree, but I do have six defensive dice. All right, I have seven because I took the three damage. And let's swing on that. Uh, so we uh, only two failures. Two failures. Two and is a crit into damage so one crit one damage okay okay which means i got three only three things i can cancel on this side so we'll cancel just two because we right. can't use our expertise yeah. tree two good on the tree so that's just going to be a push and two damage and then a reposition and two damage so i'll take five damage total from that but i'm gonna be okay he'll push me against the building here because he wants me out of two of that yeah, within so to that so he'll do we'll a just full... push but i can't push you any further than touching the building okay so push her back into the building she took a little damage guys right. but she's okay but that does swing this back into me because she's out of range two he's within range two and he's wounded so this goes back true. over to me that's true so i get three points one two three for the moment he does okay we're gonna my stack here it is commandos commandos right now aren't in a great position so i'm gonna put them in my reserve for a force sure go to my stack it is going to be commander pawns Sure. Commander Pause is at this unit's activation. She's another Galactic Republic character, and they may dash. Sure. And I think we're going to pick Luminara. That makes sense. To have her just dash around here, and she'll be within one of this ingress, and she's going to go up it and be like, "I'm back." Perfect. <laughs> and then uh, Pons is going to. I think we're just going to advance this way because we're going to have to start. Okay. A lot of action outside the board currently. That, so full advance this we... way. And then we're going to shoot Mr. Uh, Savage, see if we can do some damage. All righty. Okay, Pawn's six dice. Here's his tree. And we're going to hit Savage. Savage uh, has four dice man or in range defense. Two failures, though. Or three failures. Three. That's nice for me. One success for Pawn is going to be of two hits, though. 
Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. That's two good. hits. So two hits come back, which actually helped the dice pool a little bit. Right. So if, if he needs at least three defense not to fall down. If I have two successes, he will go down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done here, especially with what I've been rolling. Nope. Dice. Oh, I blocked everything. So you'll take two damage, which becomes one. Two damage becomes one with our protection. Hey, I do get the point back. It's not worth double, so it's going to be two for me, which is going to get closer to that. But I'm going to get a cube since it's on his side currently. I'm going to get a little closer. Sure, sure. All right, so I rolled. I got my point. Uh, I'm not going to use the B2s. They can't really help me get a point right now. We're going to go ahead and get cracking. He is going to go ahead and use the do not let them escape move for himself. He's just going to move right here. Lose his hunker token from at the start of his activation. He will take a focus for his action and we'll shoot into Luminara for our second. Kraken's at seven or eight with the Sivas. I've got five on my side currently. Or with the focus, sorry. And he's going to roll in. Alrighty. Let's see. That's All a money. really good roll. We got four. Four. I don't know how much four Not is. Not great. I mean, it's, it's just going to be a hits. crit and two hits. That's, I, it's I, not I, horrible. I mean, you only lose a die. I lose a die. Pretty good. All right. Okay, five defense dice. We're going to roll three, which on me is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be two blocks. So I'm blocking three. Right, so three are going to go away. You then have you four left. Four. And I only have five health, so I'm assuming you do... F Let's see. Let's keep it in this camera so they can see, too. So we got a... Let's do a pin, because double pushing you, I don't think, helps me much. We'll look and see which which is better, the double pin or the push, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can't. You just need a five. He's down. Oh, she is down. Okay. You just need a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then, uh, so it's two pushes and a pin. Yeah, that point and that point, which gives him three points, because of um, double. One, two, three. I also did... Wound. Ooh, so close. Yep. So close. Wound the primary there, and that'll be that. I looked at my card. I have commandos in reserve, and I have, was hoping not to pull, pull pretty much anything but a soak in the arps. Anything else would have been fine. We pulled the arps. Sure, at the arps. He did roll. It is back at me, my position here. Yeah, that's really starting to hurt me a little bit here. Um, so the arps have an expose and a strain. Which of those are you going to remove with your recovery? Probably the strain. Okay. They don't have the best tree anyways. Sure. They are little clone supports. Okay, so we're going to first spend two mm -hmm. to go ahead and do um, defensive maneuvers. Sure. So we'll move him up to here. All right. And they will gain a hunker token. Sure. That one doesn't really need to move, so he's going to just stay where he's at. Okay. He'll still get the hunker token. Um, the first actual action will be a movement. He's going to move to here with the ladder. And step on down here, just kind of clogging up this whole little area here. Okay, okay. Um, and then his last action, is, they're both going to shoot down into Savash. Shoot Savash. Carve Troops got seven dice attack into Savash's four dice defense. We're doing the first one now. Let's do it. <laughs> John's not moving the camera. Move his hand for him. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Two yeah, ex no, three no expertise is going to be a crit and a hit. Oh, that's good. So we'll lose one dice, but one becomes a crit. So I'm okay with that trade off. Crits. And it hits, and this goes away. So that should be the end of Savage in one attack, I think. Pretty much. So uh, he does block, block three. three. But I don't know if that's enough. Three gives me three successes still. Right. Which three successes is going to be, uh, let's see, one, two. Are you have any statuses on you currently? No. Okay, so then it won't take you down. I think you'll have, what, one left, one health left? One, two, three. We'll do three. Yep, so two go through. He, no, that kills him. Oh, he's, he's down? Yep. Okay, so the other one, um, the other one will attack Maul. Shooting them all? Okay. Because why wouldn't we? Yeah. Attack everything we can here for fun. So this is going to be seven dice into Maul because why not? One, two, three, four, five. Seven, yep. A couple failures in this one. But we got a crit through at least. Maul and his perfect defense died with six dice. You block I two. Fail two. But you block you, and and guess one what adds one. two. You can only cancel one more anyway. So you're still canceling everything but the crit. So you're going to take a pin and a damage. And a damage on Maul. Okay. Okay, I got my cue for wounding Savage. I'm going to move this up too. I also get to um, heal since I have wounded, I believe it is. I'll double check Illuminar's ability. Sure. She gets to do something. But Mother Talzin's ability is yes. dash up here. So I use, just use the dash to egress up here. Yep. Um, I, mean, I can't shoot because she's out of range for it to shoot. She is. I'm going to make sure Luminar. It's either the heal or someone else gets to dash. Let me double check. All right, so we are going to go ahead and go with our stack. We got our shatter point. We are going to shatter point Maul. 
Mala. He does have a pin from our annoying friends last time. Ooh, he does. I we're like going to see what happens, though. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two damage. Okay. We're going to do our lovely, there's no place to run. These guys are within three. We're going to pull them down into tomorrow. We're going to throw just to everything. Break my right lightsaber now. guy. Okay. That gets rid of their uh, hunker token. It gives them an exposed token. And then Maul is going to swing into them, and we're going to see what that looks like as to what the... Right, so we're going to stick on the sinister cunning side. We do have six total damage, so I get to increase my dice by two. So my melee attack is going to be eight dice for this swing. They are exposed, so they don't get their armor. Their and, armor? Well, their... Whatever it is. Their armor, man. That's what you said. One uh, is going to be a crit and a damage. That's a failure. Two crits, four hits. Two hits, okay. We'll block two. So you're looking at four successes coming through. Alrighty, so four. It's gonna be, how much health do they have? Seven. Seven. Not enough. So it's gonna be two, four, five, six. I'll heal myself for two. Um, we'll actually, we'll, um, pin them instead of expose because they can get a hunger token and get rid of their expose anyway. So yeah, two, four, five, six. Oh no, seven because of the damage that the insta damage from my lightsaber. Okay. So you that did, does not. You didn't down. say that. So let's I do forgot that. about that. So yes. So they're wounded, um, and then I get a reposition and two heals as well. But you that. can't move because you're are pinned. Pinned. Yes. So your position just negates My reposition gets rid of the pin. Yep. And now I have another action that I can do afterwards. Okay. Okay, it's a long, long explanation of he gets he gets three, plus there should be another momentum cube here anyway, so he definitely wins this one. And we're gonna go to struggle three. Hands yeah, reserve or we have a sheriff or we have a- Did you a, show the, the middle? We, this is, oh yeah. This is the new, it's all three of the middles. Yeah, it's so called- uh, active. It's called- Hack the security network. Right, and then he rolled, and that's the the two points for this objective. Yes, and my choice is either this, which I can look at Luminar's ability, I know what it is, or I can go with this, and since I, we, me and Don talked it out, this is yep. nice, so it's not a surprise. But I think I'm gonna go with the commandos, because this is a good move for them to be able to do sure, things. Sure, sure. So we're gonna spend um, two force if I do that, though. Otherwise they can just move. Why is it two force? Because they're, well, they're not wounded. They're not wounded. They're the only it's ones swarmed. Yes. Okay, we'll spend one to defensive maneuvers. Sure. And that's going to give them a dash. They lose all their hunker tokens, right? But now they gain one now more. Now they gain one more. So let's take these off for a second. Sure. And then he will um, till just dash right here and then yep. play with this ingress. So right about there. Sure. I think that's a smart move to do. Not bad, yeah. Yeah, like that. And then they gain their hunker. This guy will then, for their first actual action, they're going to do a move, which will move him up to here. And he can come all the way up the ladder, mm -hmm. riding that ladder train up to there. Sure. Second action will be to then she's wounded, so she's she's not contesting right. it, and she's not engaged with me. Will be to shoot mother, shoot mother. Okay, what about this guy? I don't think he's in range five. He's not in range her. five, um, because why waste an attack? We'll shoot the B two so we can give him some more. to throw on a possible condition. Wait, we roll six dice into attack. Sure. She has two health left, so we just need one success to get through because we do two on our first one. Let's see if we can get lucky here. With multiple crits, I think we can. Yep. I, uh, I Two failures, though. Two expertise for them is going to be uh, another crit. So that's going to be three crits. Three crits. Yep. I'm, I'm pretty much done here. You rolled uh, uh, three, three, which blocks block nothing. Which just blocks nothing. So for three crits, it's going to be two damage, a pin, and a strain and a damage. We'll say that way you get more things because sure. you're already down. Two damage, a strain, and a pin of damage. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to shoot the B2s. This is mainly to see if I can apply any statuses to them since the other guy... Might as well take a shot while he has it. All right. So six dice again. This is going to be the uh, same kind of thing, but worse because there's actually hits in there. A lot of failures in these last two rolls. Okay. Okay. We roll four. Our B2s have two is just one. So I get one through, which is going to be uh, just damage to nothing. So nothing on them. Okay. After we his character, um, Luminar's ability kicked in. He dashed back a little bit. Sure. I am going to grab this point and this point here. Oops, so and this is a double. Three. That's yep. three, and I got a cube for wounding yep. mother. So it's going to come one, two, three. All right. All right. So I rolled. I did get the middle. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do to get it for right now. I'm going to go with the B twos though, because they're in a pretty good position to take a point. So they will come back to life. They took off all their damage and their uh, pin that they had. 
So they're good. I'm going to spend two force and we're going to actually attack with them first. I'm going to use saturation fire. I'm going to punch Ahsoka and we're going to shoot Ahsoka. We get to add two dice to both of those attacks and let's see if we can't knock her out. All right, so the melee attack's going to be first. I'm going to roll seven dice because I got the uh, double attack for Ahsoka being in contention of the point. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Uh, so it's going to be two crits and four hits. That seems pretty good. Your dice have definitely come around in the last two struggles. Uh, okay, so we got three and one on Ahsoka is going to be two. So she will stop five because this goes away, then we add another one. All of my so regular, all of your regular hits. So you get two through with your crits, which looks like it's you don't have a choice. It's going to be three damage and a push. Pushing your... But you sure you can push her if you'd like. I don't think pushing helps me in any way. Okay. At this point... I'll, I'll sh I show you it will help me because I push her back and then I'll follow her to get into scoring. Okay. And then the second one is the ranged attack. So that's six, eight dice on this one. A little bit beefier. A little bit beefier. Oh, that's garbage. Three failures? That's real That's going to be a couple damage for my deflect too. And then uh, it's going to be two, Just these just turn into two wounds. Just two wounds? Yep. Okay, so all together you did a total of... Well, you still of... have to roll for those. Oh, I'm sorry. I, two. I asked. You said just two wounds. I, the expert is just two wounds. Okay, they're blocked. Yep. So just so, two more wounds. So I'm going to take a total of five, five wounds and a push. He pushed me, followed me. He had this guy come up for a second action. Unfortunately, that's still two to two, so it stays in my control. This is in my control. He does have this one, so he'll get one point here. And a momentum cube since it's on my side. And we'll go back to me. It's Mace, and this time we're going to remember that the, his rush to action is him and another unit, sure. which is a big deal, because what we're going to do is we're going to have Illuminara dash, and she's just going to dash right here, which is within range one of this ingress, and she's going to come up like so. Sure. And then one of it, right about there. Yeah. Looks good. And then Mace, which was I made a mistake earlier, gets to dash now, which is nice. So we'll dash with him. Try not to knock any of these buildings or anything around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, my big hand getting there. There we go. Sure. And then he's going to, for his first action, he will advance around this corner like so. Mm -hmm. which puts him about there, okay. which is well within range one of that. So he's going to take Luminar's spot, which is the whole reason why I moved. Sure. And then we're going to swing away into Mr. Maul. All right, let's we're going to flip sides to the Jedi Master because we need to do the pushing because the way he healed and Mother healed him and everyone healed him, um, he's not really downable at this moment. Sure. So we're going to have six dice for this attack here. Sure. Maul's got six on his defense. I get to spend forces if I want to do reroll um, failures, which is kind of cool. Let's see what we can do. You don't even need to when you don't roll any failures. And two is going to be one crit. So we've got two crits. you have a way to cancel crits on them? No. Then that's going to be the two pushes I need. Yeah. Oh, these are hits. Not... So go ahead and roll your dice. You definitely block everything that's not a crit easily. Yep. So they'll take away the three hits, and we have two crits, and that's going to be a push and two damage, and a push and a damage. So we'll see what we can do with those. All right. Okay, I pushed him twice, got him off the point, took this point, that gives me one two, three, four points, mm -hmm. which is going to be one away. Perfect. Okay, with me being one away, Don looking at the board, he got Mother Tales and... Yes, um, I rolled this as my double point point, which is a point that I have no ability whatsoever. And to since create. he had Maul go with Maul and the Sheriff point, he can't get him again this round. Yeah. So in his mind, there's no way to really contest anything, maybe steal a point with one other character, but... It's possible to get not one enough point. ...to move no. it back away, because I'm going to get at least two next round. Yeah, so at least three. Yeah, so Don's going to call it here. Yep, we're, we're going to call it. Um, so let's talk about some new units first. So let's let's talk about... Uh, the. I'll talk about the new units I played first. Mace, Pawns, who was definitely not wrecked, and the Arf Troopers, who definitely went to Philo first. Uh, okay, so Mace, uh, luckily, in the beginning when I kept saying he had no way to move himself, didn't really matter because I moved him enough with other people that he didn't need the dash, which was good. And then you found out he could. But then I found out he could, and he got a lot better. Um, I also misread the Shatter Point card. It literally says the name of the ability is Shatter Point, but, you know... Um, but no, he's, he's, he's good. He's got some cool abilities. I had weirdly Mace rolled good enough. He never rolled a failure. So he never got to use the force spending action. I also, you poor thing. I also, if I, if I keep guy. him better within people, he gives them a uh, steadfast protection when he's engaged within range five. So that's nice. So Mace is fun. Um, the f extra force is nice to him because besides his reroll ability, he doesn't spend force when he's not wounded on anything, which is really nice. Uh, pawns weirdly did some work in this game. He took down someone with a shot and he... Yeah, when you roll Twice. absolute garbage defense dice yeah, the that, entire game, that helped. it really swings things in, in your opponent's favor. And his charge played well. The ARF troopers in the beginning did good, and then at the end they just became the punching bag you one-shot at each time with Maul and Savage. I mean, you put them right there. 
I had to contest the point. I wanted early points. You but yeah. Get him. Ahsoka Padawan did more work than she does. She survived a couple hits. She took out something. She, she did good for me. Commanders are still my favorite support on the Republic side by a lot. Just their their trees are good, their attacks good, the way that they can have protection with their low health helps. And then they have the lovely oh, and your skill. Free, free damage. And the free damage, which, which I think, free damage, I think which, I did three or four times. Which did a significant amount of damage. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I got to see the Night Sisters go once. Um, and we didn't get to see Mace use any of his shatter point abilities. We didn't get to see Savage really, really lay in anything crazy either. No, no. But um, it was a good overall game. I think I will say my first inflection is that, in my mind, and I apologize if you guys disagree, the 501st are probably the bottomest tier of the whole game, which is unfortunate because I love the 501st. Um, the 212th, though, honestly, aren't, aren't far behind them because they're a whole point more and not much better. So having the ARF and the Republic clone commandos, I think, will be, if you want to run clones, will be your two go-tos. That seems like a pretty easy choice. And I think, depending on how many points you have, Pawns is not a bad with Rex, or you go Rex and um, Cody with the ARF and the thing. So that's good. So I think, overall, it's a great addition if you're a Republic player. They're really, really good. Um, Don, you want to talk about the mother and yeah, so Savage and the sister? This game I didn't really get to show them off because they uh, only died. Pretty, pretty much do nothing there. I mean, Savage did swing in and kill some clones, but that's super easy. Um, I played a tournament on Saturday, and by a tournament, I mean I played Josh in uh, one game because uh, we were the only people that showed up. <laughs> um, and they did a lot more work for me. Um, Savage's ability to move when your primaries activate meant that I pull, like it just pulled in the right way that Savage got two dashes before he ever activated because nice. Maul and Mother got to activate before him and moved him up the whole field. Um, so that's super helpful. When he attacks a primary, he gets to add dice. He's got protection and steadfast. He's, his Dark Fury ability is really good. Like, he is actually, like, super impressive for what he does. I really like him a lot. Offensive, movement-wise, yes. Defense, he's a little weak. But they gave him 10 health, which is he's nice He's got 10 for health. Support. He's got protection and steadfast, so that also helps. It helps big time, yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, I really enjoyed him. Um, the sisters are okay. Seven health sucks. A lot. Um, they're... <laughs> They're supposed to have... So uh, I know in Shadow Point, real quick, I'm going to interrupt you. You can mix factions. If you know such channel, we've only done it a couple times. He's a 7 health, not much, because he's used to droids. But I'm sitting here like, yeah. oh, 7 health isn't is it, is it much, guys? I mean, I'm pretty much... Yeah. All yeah, my I, the bad guys all have a little more health, but... Uh, they have that Exposed, which got you to knock me down the one shot. The Exposed is super cool. I only got to use it the one time. I thought about using it when I was attacking Ahsoka, but that would have been a 4 force swing in to try to kill Ahsoka, and it still wouldn't have killed her. Yeah. Um, so that is unfortunate. Um, but I like them a lot. Uh, Mother is really great. Um, this game, again, I didn't get to show off any of her stuff, really, but her ability to dash and then shoot things that kill her um, allies triggered five times in the game against Josh. So I got to shoot so much with her because she was right in the middle of it, and Josh kept killing stuff next to her. So she would dash and shoot it and dash and shoot it. So it was super good. That's what's fun about the game. You can play it a few times. And yeah. even though I know some people say that one of the things I don't like is you don't get to play the characters a lot in a round or in a game sometimes. Mm -hmm. But the more games you play, the completely different experience I feel like you have sometimes. With yeah, where so. you put your characters, which way they the grass, which way people are with right. each other. When your defense dice actually roll blocks on them at all. Luminar's ability wounding you gave me a lot of free dash this one too, which was really nice. Yeah, you did get a lot out of Luminar. I didn't get to use time. her precise strike at all or um, Snips is getting ahead of yourself against Snips where after Galactic supporting units attack, they get to move in and do stuff. So, but other than that, it was a pretty good showing. Of the, the commandos, I think Don, Don was like, I, I let, your commandos are good. He's like, I don't know why people say they're not, but. No, yeah, the commandos are definitely good. I, I think the, the community, you know, said has turned around on them because initially people were saying they were not very good, especially with their health pool, but. As long as they're not in melee, they're pretty much... Yeah, six health is not great, but when you look at the the, the crosshair, they have seven or eights, but they have protections. As long as they take two shots, they made up for that health already by negating mm -hmm. two damage. So it's, it's helpful. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed these midweek drops. We try to do these roughly every other week. We've been hitting that pretty decent, but with our vacations coming up, we might be a little bit longer every other week. But Probably. we'll try. Yep. We'll try. Well, you know. We'll Drop a like in. below. Click that link below. It says learn more about SharePoint. That just shows yes. AMG that you're engaging with us. Even if you just click right. it to look for two seconds, it helps. All of this sweet SharePoint characters that we're giving away, we're giving away because AMG can send us stuff. So exactly. Keep clicking on that so they keep sending us stuff. And we'll keep sending you stuff. We have more expansions unopened of uh, SharePoint to give out after this one wraps up in a couple mm -hmm. weeks too. So keep that going. You guys are great. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.